you see a lot of uh, women online talking about, oh, they're not going half and half with no men and 50-50. Um, and I just find that like, I just find that weird. I just, I just find the women who say that kind of just shallow out of the loop or just entitled um, or just maybe that's the way they grew up or something. Um, but we in different times and different times call for different measures. I believe the more that's given, the more is required. The more you have, the more you should do. It's amazing to me how so many women fought for equal rights, but don't want to take equal responsibility. I'm going to say that again. A lot of women, y'all want equal rights, but y'all want preferential treatment. Y'all don't want it to be equal when, when, when it comes to certain things. You know, y'all want them equal rights, but not the equal responsibility. You know, you fighting for equal pay, but you don't want to, you don't want to pay equal bills. That don't, that don't make any sense to me. It's kind of like a, a double standard. A lot of women who talk this, they don't want to go 50-50 and the man should pay. Um, a lot of them come from like a worse case scenario, mind frame, like a, a mind frame of abandon. Like a, a lot of women, they want to hold their own and want a man to pay for everything just in case something goes wrong. That's why a lot of women feel like a man should pay all the bills and I should be able to hold all my money just in case he turned on me one day, I could have my money and then I could get back on my, uh, you know, I could be on my feet or, you know, never fall off, you know? So a lot of women, they coming from a place of fear. It's coming from a place of fear. They want to be treated like women back in the days, but they don't want to, act like women back in the days. We in different times right now. Like we're in, we're really in different times. Like things were a lot cheaper. You get a lot more bang for your buck. So it, it just makes sense. It's like, think about it like this. If you pay $2,000 in rent and I pay $2,000 in rent, right? And we move together. So you pay a thousand now, I pay a thousand now. We both save a thousand dollars. And with the way the inflation is going, the rent prices and everything is going to New York, it would be a smart decision to team up and to, to uh, merge and, and partner up. That's what a partnership means. And I feel like a lot of women, they're not looking for partnerships. They're looking for sponsorships. You know, they use that word, I'm looking for a partner. But deep down inside, they're really looking for a sponsor. I know a chick looking for a sponsor when I see one. So a lot of that talk is like sponsorship rhetoric. You're not really trying to partner up. I just feel like nowadays, if if we don't team up, the average woman, because we're talking about in general here, yes, there's some men who's going to make a million dollars. Like if I made a million dollars, or if I made a half a million dollars and my girl made $100,000, then yes, I would probably most likely pay all the bills because I'm making significantly more than her. And if I did that, I'd be a good man. But if a man is making 100,000 and a female is making 500,000, why don't women feel like it's, it's, so, it's, it's necessary for them to do what a man would do under those circumstances? It's like a man take care of you, he is, he's a good man. A woman take care of a man or help with certain responsibilities uh, then he's not a good man anymore. That just don't make any sense to me. And I think a lot of y'all are uh, uh, exaggerating with your demands. Y'all not qualified for the demands y'all making. And y'all y'all speaking from a, a, a select few perspective. Because in general, we have to work together. We've always worked together as black people. That's how we made it in this country. As poor people, that's how we made it in this country, by helping each other. Remember that saying, it takes a village to raise a child? That still applies, okay? So it takes. it's gonna take us to make sure we're good. Now, if one of us is able to do it, I don't feel, um, I don't care whether it's a man or a female that's willing, because like I said, I feel, the more you have, the more you should do. The more you're given, the, the more is should be required from you. You know, like 
you know, it's different if you was paying a thousand dollars in rent and I'm paying four thousand dollars. And then I tell you to move with me and we could go half and half. Like now your bills just went up a thousand dollars. So that's a different case scenario. But for the most part, we're in general, the poor people, we're usually in the same financial bracket somewhat. You know, whether somebody's making 60 and someone else is making a hundred. But I feel like if someone's making a hundred thousand dollars, someone's making a hundred thousand, someone's making two hundred thousand, I feel like the person with the two hundred thousand should naturally do more because they have more. Now, to what extent? It depends on how it's the dynamics. But a lot of times, a company, we have to start looking at relationships like a business. And I'm going to do a whole thing on that. Like, is your relationship really standing on business? Because a relationship is a business transaction. You know, when somebody uh talk about your, your relationship or what you're going through, what's the first thing you say? Mind your business. That's not your business. So we've always known that relationships are business. So is your relationship standing on business? Like when, when you, when if, if AT&T merged with T-Mobile, then they're going to want to check the, uh, the financials. So when you're dealing with someone, you have to know, and a lot of us hide our financials from each other. You be in a relationship with somebody for five years, six, seven years, 10 years, and they don't even know how much money you got in the bank. They never seen your bank account. That's not a real partnership because a real partnership, the other party will want to see your financials. They want to see your tax returns. They want to see how you've been dealing with yourself over the past few years or else they wouldn't want to do business with you. So a lot of us be too embarrassed. We, we trying to front on each other, act like we're doing a lot better than what we're doing or don't want nobody to know we're doing as good as we're really doing. So we don't share that information. And I'm telling you, if you're with somebody that don't want to share that information, it's a reason. They acting like they doing, they, they might be doing more than what you believe they're doing or they might be doing a lot less. But in any event, I don't feel there's anything wrong. We're going 50-50. I'm the type of man, I'd rather pay all the bills. If I had it, if if I have it like that, then yeah, I I I prefer that. But you know, um, I'm 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 not against going 50-50 with a woman. And I don't think, especially in today's times, that makes it that makes me any more or less than a man, or makes you any more or less than a man because you splitting bills. And I don't and 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 if if you judging a man based on whether he could provide Everything for you, I'm going to leave it like this. A dollar saved is better than a dollar earned because you didn't have to do anything to get it. I'm going to say that again. A dollar saved is better than a dollar earned. If I can't give you money, the next best thing is saving you money. If I gave you $1,000, you got $1,000. But if I saved you $1,000, isn't that the same as giving you $1,000? And we're going to leave it at that. Y'all stay woke, man. 50-50 love. She know my name now, but she like to call me Mr. Don't Play Around Cause she know, as soon as I walk through that door I throw my clothes on the floor like I'm James Brown Hey! This ain't nothing new, baby, I been smooth I want two step, then I spin move But I was loving that, and your bubble fat So I'ma double back, and run another lap We can start where we stop that You was topping me off, now let's see if you can top that Dame mama, dame agua, the big da da el plaga oh.